Hi, I'm Jennifer, the Minds and Motion Coordinator with the Alzheimer's Society of Waterloo Wellington. I'm here today to show you how easy it is to join a Zoom meeting. Come on, I'll show you how. Okay, so you've opened up your computer and the first thing that you want to do is open up your mail program. So I'm just opening that up right now and it's launching. And you're going to look to the emails that have come in and likely you would have received an email from the host inviting you to the meeting um, perhaps some time ago and you likely would have responded that you were either going to come or you were not going to come so accept the meeting or decline the meeting. And then if you look further down in the notification there is a uh, blue hyperlink that's underlined and it says join the Zoom meeting and that's what we were going to cl click on to join the meeting at the time of when it's to start. I'm just going to also show you here a reminder email that I would have received from the host as well. Again, just reminding me when the meeting is and giving me that same link to join the meeting. So I'm going to go back to the initial invite and I'm going to go to that blue hyperlink and click on it and it's going to hopefully launch Zoom for me and load up the meeting. Likely the host of the meeting would have opened up the meeting a little bit before the time that it was to have started. So when this comes up, when Zoom is launched, I'll likely see, yes, I'm gonna likely see the host. And you can kind of see that in the background. That would be um, from the host, the video image from the host uh, who's, who's doing the meeting. I'm getting a notification from my computer saying to join with computer audio and I want to click on that. It's just giving me a little reminder. Now it's gone away. So now what you're seeing here is the view from the host of the meeting. And this is uh, obviously <laughs> upstairs in my house on my other computer where I have sent the meeting invite and where I am hosting it. And I've just placed this happy ball here as me sitting there hosting the meeting. If you go down here to the bottom bar, these would be, um, this would be the bar that you would get from Zoom to do various things in the program. So if you go over to the far left, you're going to see the microphone. And right now, it is, it is live. And you can see as I'm talking, it's going up and down to show my voice. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to mute myself. So now, anybody else in the meeting will not be able to hear me. Then I'm going to go to the button beside that says start video and it's got a line through it. So that means right now my video is not on so you can't see me. But I'd like everybody in the meeting to be able to see me. And there I am. There's my image that has come up at the top of the page. You can see the camera in the background because we're taking, we're recording this right now. Uh, and you can see that my mic is off so I'm muted and there's my face. And this right now is a view of the host. I'm going to go up here to the right and it says gallery view. I'm going to click on that and what's happened now is it's divided my screen with all the images of the other people that are participating in the uh, in the video conference or the meeting. So here's the host, the big happy ball and here I am and then there might be squares with other people as well. I'm going to go back here to the first one. Again, looking at this bottom strip here, there's a couple of other things that you might want to pay attention to. Uh, if you click on participants, on the right hand side of your screen will be a list of all the people that have come into the meeting. Right now we have two people attending. There's me at the top and it tells you that um, I'm, I'm muted. You can see, sorry, I'll move my cursor. You can see the red little mic with the um, line going through it so no one can hear me talking, but you can see that my camera is, is open. There's no cross through it. And then the host, which is the Alzheimer Society, uh, is open mic and open video. Okay, and then also if you go down to the bottom, you've got an option to unmute yourself. So generally what will happen in a meeting is the host will ask everyone to mute their microphones so that you don't get a lot of confusion with everyone talking at once. And then, you know, you're listening to the meeting and you want to ask a question. So you're going to click on raise hand. And if you go up to the top, there I am, Jennifer, and whoever is hosting the meeting can see that I've got my hand up. So that means that I have a question. So the host will say, Jennifer, you have a question. And then I'll unclick my mic. Oopsie, no, I gotta do that from the bottom, I'm sorry. I've gotta go down here and unmute myself. 
and then I can start to talk and ask my question. And then usually when I'm done, I'm going to put myself back on mute just so that no one's going to hear the background noise. Otherwise, if everyone's talking at once, it'll be very confusing. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.